can you wait for a current position hold to initiate? How long do I have to wait? Uh, two more minutes. In two minutes, we will uh, start position hold, and then in five minutes, we will uh, have sunset. Okay, well, whatever is more convenient for you. How? What is more convenient for you, Alex? Well, I'm ready because uh, the crosshairs are aligned. Uh, okay, it's better for you. Whatever is better for you is better for us. Um, if you feel confident and uh, you keep, can keep going, go ahead. The range is uh, 12 meters right now. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Copy, Oleg. And uh, we're looking at the video, and uh, we think it's better if you dock now and didn't have to wait. Okay, so it's up to you, your decision. Do we station keep or are we go for docking? Go ahead, go ahead for docking. Go for docking. Copy, go for docking and work. So uh, now the target is about two squares wide. Okay, copy, six meters. Everything is... Um, Nice and easy. Copy. Crosshairs are aligned, and uh, the uh, velocity is the same as longitudinal. Copy. We're watching. About now this view uh, over Russian ground stations, as you can see, uh, the docking target on the pier's docking compartment uh, precisely aligned or becoming uh, very closely to being precisely aligned uh, with the crosshairs uh, on the external camera of the Progress uh, resupply vehicle. Docking is uh, just a few minutes away, uh, the Progress uh, closing uh, to within about 30 meters uh, of its final destination. The range is about three meters. Copy. Very good. We can see the picture. Once again, uh, Alec Kotov uh, very meticulously uh, using uh, the TORU, the telerobotically operated system, uh, to manually fly the progress in for its docking following uh, the failure of the CORE's automated rendezvous system uh, a few minutes ago. It has not impacted uh, the docking uh, process as we stand by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Copy. Docking confirmed now at 1.30 p.m. Central Time. Docking confirmed. And to the entire crew, congratulations. Thank you very much. You did a very good job. Congratulations. You bring it in from 1,000 meters. That's the first time in history. We're going to deactivate Toro on your go, expecting your go. Docking occurring at 1.30 p.m. Central Time as uh, the Progress 37 cargo craft and the International Space Station flew 220 miles over southern Russia near the Kazakh border. Kotov took over manual control of the flying of the Progress about 1,000 meters out following uh, the failure of the Corps' automated rendezvous system, uh, which uh, defaulted down uh, or downmoded, if you will, uh, to the Toru system after an attitude uh, issue uh, that is not clear at this point uh, following one of the thruster firings by the Progress craft. But all's well that ends well with a, a flawless a manual docking of the Progress uh, vehicle, uh, docking to the Piers docking compartment. Uh, Oleg Kotov, the station commander, uh, bringing uh, the vehicle in uh, for a link up at 1.30 p.m. Central Time over southern Russia near the Kazakh border.